Why do men not understand hints in the slightest way possible? Why should men have to start understanding hints? Why can't individuals that have something to say just speak their mind? It would be a lot easier and save everyone an awful lot of time. Counter, why do men prefer a hint when they can use their words to say it like it is? What kinds of rights do women have that men don't have? Most boys, immediately upon birth, have their mutilated. Mm -hmm. They don't have a, a right to consent or not consent to this because they're obviously newborns. So immediately that's one way in which boys in this country are not protected. They don't have a right to their own bodily autonomy. So women have the right to not be subject to forced military conscription. They don't have to register for selective service. If there was a draft, they can't be drafted by law. As a man, if you don't register for the selective service, there's certain negative repercussions. It's technically a felony. You could be Imprisoned is a $250,000 fine. You're barred from certain federal programs. You can't apply for certain federal jobs. You can't get student loans, for example. Oh, you can't vote, too. Why do you think that is? For the draft one, for example, would you want women to get drafted Absolutely. as well? Absolutely. In the name of equality. Okay. Are you against equality? No, I'm for it. Yeah, so. women should be subject to forced military conscription the same way men are. The women smiling in the back think it's funny when the conversation's about men's rights. Yeah, why are you single? Hmm. Oh, okay. We'll still ask and then we'll go. Okay. All right. All right. Why is that a popping question? <laughs> the next question would have been about what they did to drive their ex away. And no one wanted their dirty laundry aired on the internet. Makes sense if you're a modern woman. I mean, it's essentially the same thing as what's your body count question. And that is something that dwells on the past. I'm not focused on the past. I'm moving forward. I'm better. I have healed. I am going forward and I'm looking for somebody to do the same. Don't ask me about what I used to do, what I was involved in. I could be involved in crimes. I could be the second coming of Bonnie and Clyde, but I don't want you to ask about that because that was my former life. And so I feel that I've done all this work and transformed myself and I'm a new person and I'm unique. So therefore you shouldn't even be worried about my past. You should be worried about who I am now because I'm not going to judge you based off your past. Well, time out. When you go to the job, and all of you strong, independent women have jobs, what do you submit to them? Your resume. And your resume could be currently what you're doing, but it's also a lot of times, a vast majority of times, what you've done in the past. So why is it that when your employer is judging you off of what you've done in the past, based on your resume, that you're okay with that. But when a man who is going to be your protector and provider is taking a look at your past and saying, I want to make sure that I'm wanting to get myself into this, you get mad and you want to pop the balloon. That's all that is. It's just lack of accountability, not wanting to take responsibility for the things that they might have done. And that's a red flag in and of itself. These women are actually doing you a favor, bro. That's. Back the up! You know what? You didn't watch on him? It doesn't matter. It's on camera. Everything's recorded in here. Regardless of okay. his camera, there's other cameras. And he's allowed to just be a nuisance to the public? Listen, he's allowed to record in public. It's your first amendment right. It shouldn't be. And I can claim mental disability. If you're in a public place, he can record anybody he wants to in a, in a public place. This is a government public building. You can't touch people. You can't hit people, you can't. Perfect. You grab this camera, which is, it's still I'm bad. Gonna, I'm gonna end up going to jail anyways. For what? For fucking. Cause he's likely going to post me oh, on 100%. YouTube. 100%. It's, this is his first amendment right. Putting the camera towards you, it's not really a criminal act. Grabbing his camera is a criminal act. Does he have any weapons other, I know he has a camera, but other than that, any weapons at all? Victimhood is her default mode. But here they are choosing to bear and like to tell us that they're afraid of men. The same men that you're charging, you're afraid of those men. It really is giving a new meaning to overcome your fears. Even the kids knew it was time to be on high alert.
Let this be your reminder, ladies. Just because you don't appreciate him doesn't mean no one else will. Sometimes I want a girlfriend. But then I see my homeboy sitting in the car looking like this. I said, listen to me. Listen, listen, to, listen. Man, and I'd be like, why, man? nah, I'm good. Hey, stop hanging up. Then let me talk. I'm good. Let me talk. I'm good where I'm at. Why you always acting like? Nah, I'm good is how I'll start every day now. Your beauty is like a cosmetic the way it's painted all over your face like that. You see what I'm saying? My name, Corey, what's your name? Oh. She was too stunned to speak when a man showed any genuine interest in her. That's just how it is in this world. Clap or not, nah, what's up? Are you crazy? What? Are you crazy? Whoa, calm down. What the wrong with you? Does it make noises? Why are you, why are you minding my business? Why does, you gonna know if they clap or not? Does it make noises? Yeah, it make noise. Do you make noise? No. You want to make noise? Can I grab it? No, you can't grab it. Why not? What the f wrong with you? Are you okay? I just want to see if it make noise. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. So why you want to know if my f or not? What you talking about? What you talking about? Why are you in my I business? Mean, Come is... on the phone. Why are you in my business? You why are you phone? in my business? But I just want to know if it make noises. Why are you in my business? Make noises? Why are you in my business? Does it make noises? Why are you in my business? Does it make noises? Yeah. Oh, hot, 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 hot. Can I grab it? No. Why not? No. Can I find out tonight? No. Why are you so close? Never. Back I don't up. get it. Back up. I'm on the phone. So Back what? Back up. He's Say, look, look. Back up. What's this then? Look. Back up. Oh, play so much. <laughs> <laughs> Why you play so much? Make noises. Why you play so much? Got That moment of realization is golden. She was not happy with him. It's not okay to talk about previous traumas in relationships. So listen, it's okay to talk about those traumas, especially if you are dating. It's okay to be upfront about that. But understand, just because you are transparent don't mean I want to with you afterwards. And I'm going to be honest with you. It is within, no, no. That's the problem. People think that just because you are honest about your red flags and traumas that you got to stick there. You tell me you a serial cheater and you afraid to cheat and everybody in your life has cheated like you won't love is blind and your name is Clay and I'm not going I'm not going to give you kudos. No, you did no not. I'm not going to give you kudos for your I'm going to appreciate your honesty. I'm going to say thank you for the honesty. Thank you. But that don't mean that I'm going to reward you with more see what what some people do is take like oh I'm so glad he confided in me about his traumas and his red flags and that mean he must really care about me. Sometimes you got to say listen, thank you. But that violates the standard I have for myself and the boundaries I have for myself. You can't dump your baggage on a man and expect him to be the one to unpack and put everything in its place. Hello? Hey, baby, you almost home? Yeah, I'm on my way. All right. I got warm water, bubbles, and candles going for you when you get home. Really? Thanks, baby. Yep. Yeah. All right. I love you. I'll see you soon. Bye. Love you. Bye. All right. Bye. You can call him whatever you want, but you can't call him a liar. Question though. If you had a dollar for everybody that you had, what could you buy? A mansion. Next, go ahead. He called. She belongs to the streets. It's a good thing they don't give out dollars for this, otherwise we'd enter a new recession. Why do women friend zone guys who would make them wives for guys who made them single moms? I, I feel like sometimes it's just really like the guys that'll make you a wife women they don't want to like change who they are so they say they want to be a wife but they're not ready to really play the wife role or whatever so i i feel like that's really what it was i feel like some women do what know what they want with the wrong men if that makes sense because a lot of y'all want uh, babies cars houses with the guy that just doesn't want that like it, if he says no it's no Basically, it's just words strung together without them making any sense, because the whole mindset doesn't make sense. Ladies, do you think the man you want would care about your past? Not for the correct man. I think for the man, I guess, that's supposed to be with that woman, he would look at it as the stepping stones that got her to be with him. Some a woman's aren't. past does matter, just like a man's future matters. Statistics shows that when a woman reaches a body count between five or six, the likelihood for her to maintain a long-term relationship drops down at 20%. That means that it matters to her and she will always be unsatisfied. Imagine eating something and never feeling satisfied. You're gonna be like, mm. that's gonna suck. Feeling full, that's a good feeling. You settled, you are content. And women that sleep with a whole lot of men, they aren't content because they've been comparing 
sizes, bank accounts, height, the man that can raise her up and all of these type of things. So she becomes an unruly woman, meaning that she's for no man. She's only for herself and for the streets. There's not a single man out here who wants his wife to be a stepping stone. Beginning of this, we said we was going to get a whole truth and nothing but the truth. That's how we like it. Get this mic to one of these people that said they marry. Whoever wants the mic. Is your husband the man that you settle for or, he's the, or is he the man of your dreams? Settle. I already know. I thought this one was pretty interesting and also shocking that a married woman would get on a platform and publicly admit that she settled for her husband. This is the woman who that man got on one knee for and asked to be his wife. This is who got on there and embarrassed him like this in public. All right, so follow me here for a little bit, guys, because I'm about to touch on a few topics. For most women, the men of their dreams is the man they did and still don't qualify for. Drink the coffee. Drink the coffee. It'll make you feel better. With her face and attitude, he's the one who actually settled. Don't give me a day black women vibes. Really? You it don't. Passes? What is it? It's everything. It just right. don't give black women. It gives Latinos. Latinos. Am I like, accurate? Right. Not nah, really. What's your type? I like black women. What type of black women? Intelligence and a little nerdy. But let's base it off of looks, because those are things okay. you see firsthand, like not. I like this. Finally, someone that actually recognizes that. I can respect that. I don't care about the height. If she's taller than me, I really don't care. Usually, a little bit of a butt, not a little bit. Medium sized butt, medium sized ass. What's wrong with a big ass? Ah. You can't handle it. I understand my weight class. I'm out welterweight. I ain't, I'm not a heavyweight fighter. You have your chest be bigger than mine, but it ain't gotta be huge. And then QC. I like QC girls. Have you seen anybody like... out here that you like? Absolutely not. I'm just being honest. Just being honest. You nah. Think your type is black women, and you haven't seen not one black woman out here that's cute. Nah. You have not seen not one black woman out here that you find cute. Did I start? Are you okay? I'm good. Just picky. I mean, you could be picky, but it's so many options out here. Yeah, but they they don't pique my interest. Let me pour one up real quick for hey that ain't had the blessing of second. It is. She was insecure about herself and just didn't want to admit it. It was easier to take it out on the guy. If I don't marry her, she could never take any of my shit. He would have a problem with that. Just marry me. Well, you don't trust me? Right. This, yeah, you know this. what I'm saying? But I'm, pro I'm protecting myself. You just said men should know to protect themselves before mm -hmm. they get it. And you're right. If a man doesn't protect himself, it is his fault. Right. I'm not going to marry you because of the divorce rate is mostly they initiated because of women. I'm <laughs> not going to marry. It just doesn't make sense to me. Love might be a gamble, but you should never get into a relationship without some for thought. We're an interracial couple. Of course people believe he married me for a visa. Yes, of course. Baby, baby, what are you saying? Why do you say these things in front of the camera? You know how difficult it is in this country, right? What are you saying? <laughs> we say we were going to talk about this. What talk what? about this? You already mm -hmm. married with me. My man didn't want to be a part of a TikTok trend. He wanted to send out a PSA to his brothers. Your weekly reminder that drop dead faithful is always better than drop dead gorgeous. I don't give a I do not care how beautiful, hot, pretty your girlfriend or wife is. It matters not. Do not tell me how hot she is. I don't care. You know what's hot? Loyalty, faithfulness. Better a faithful six than an unfaithful eight, nine, or 10. Your priorities are screwed up because you got caught up in this manosphere, red pill, bullshit that you need an eight, nine, or 10. Absolutely friggin' superficial, skin deep. You want faithful, you want loyal. You want someone when they look at you, you know they love you just, not from their words, but just from the way they look at you, by the way they talk to you, by the way they touch you, by the way they hug you, by the way they kiss you, by the way they don't want you to leave when you have to leave. Loyalty, dedication, and respect always come before looks, period. Ladies, I just want y'all to know that this is how y'all be looking when y'all get them big eyelashes. I mean, how can you even see? I can't even open my eyes. I can't even see in front of me. If it doesn't look good on my man here, safe to say it doesn't look good on anyone else either. How many women would you want to marry? None. <laughs> my lord. Are you wonder? Ogenda beda wacha monsimu. 
<laughs> no, marriage. Marriage is something different from being with someone. Yes, but how many women would you like to marry? No marriage. <laughs> I'm a lawyer, so I know what it comes with. I don't think I will, I will want to really marry. Are you a lawyer also? Yeah, I'm a lawyer. What is it with lawyers and not wanting to marry? Guys, <laughs> yeah? the repercussions. of marriage. Yeah. yeah, if things go south. And they have to go south eventually. <laughs> things have to go south. There is no until death do us apart. You rather have an ex than a div- divorce. <laughs> Better to have heartache than a heartache and her walking away with half of everything. Hi, is this Izzy? Yes. This is John from John Breaks Bad News. I have some uh, bad news from Dane for you. Okay. Uh, there's no way in that he's going to a Pitbull concert at all. It's just not happening. Um, he's going to that Pitbull concert. He's not going to the Pitbull concert. I'm going to make him go. He's not going and he's going to tickle you tonight. not affect me. What? And, and he's going to tickle you tonight. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. I'll t- Can you tell him that I'll take him back? You got to send a request in. Ah. Uh, you got to go to johnbreaksbadnews.com and send in a request. Maybe I'll do that. It's no H. J-O-N. But All he's right, not going yeah. to that Pitbull concert. There's no way in hell. It's just not happening. He's going to the Pitbull concert. I wouldn't go. I would. That sounds like fun. Well, how the is vibe. that fun? That bald guy peeing on himself? You know he the pees vibe. on himself live. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he does. Look it up. Google it. That's a, you just totally made that up. I did. Yeah. All right. Well, I love you. Love you. Bye. She can enjoy blaring music by herself, and he can enjoy one whole day of peace and quiet. <laughs> the toxic chemicals in their makeup gets to the mosquitoes before their toxic personalities. Ladies, does height matter in a guy? Absolutely. So you're judging guys based on something they can't change. I judge based on stuff women can change. So I see you got some makeup on, officer. If you wipe Let's... my makeup off, no, I'm not wiping my makeup off. So just That's take... a preference for you. And a preference is height, but we can't change that. You That's can change fine. your makeup. That's fine. You don't know that. You put it on. You have a choice. Yeah, but I don't have a choice to choose how tall I am. Okay, that's great. It's all fun and games until you ask a woman to wipe her makeup off. Bro, you ever seen the movie Fish Tales? You know the Jamaican, uh, the Jamaican fish with like the bum thing or like the, the thing on his head, bro, with the... You know what I'm talking about, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey. Oh, yup. This is you, bro. This is f- Oh my God. Ooh. That's crazy, bro. I'm not even close to Jamaican. I'm not <laughs> Ooh, that's a racial. Why are you chuckling like that? I know you can't even put on glasses because your eyes will be over here, sir. Dang, she might really be from Shark Tales. I'm asking you, if it was a deal breaker if I know how to cook, mm. what did you just say? I said that if you couldn't cook, it wouldn't have been a deal breaker, but it should have been a deal breaker. And why did you say that? Because, I mean, like, when you're married, you be having conflicts and you be having arguments. And having arguments is bad enough, but like imagine having to eat like nasty food like after an <laughs> argument. Like that argument is gonna be ten times worse now. Like you're gonna try to get over it and then you're gonna take a bite <laughs> out of food and you're gonna start flipping out. There's no way a relationship can survive like that. So yeah, I probably would have gone yeah. through with it, but now after being married, I'm like, I'm just so glad. I'm so glad that I don't have that problem. <laughs> Uh-huh. No, no, he's got a fair point. Imagine having to eat nasty food right after an argument. That'd suck. What's your type, though? Okay, so I like a tall guy. Yeah. And... <laughs> oh, yeah. She didn't have to get personal with it. Dang. What's your biggest turn off in the female? I think for me, you can be as gorgeous, you can be as cute, pretty fine, whatever. Got all, got it all. If you disrespect me or like you don't respect me, we can't do it. I've just been in so many uh, relationships where everything was good. You just didn't respect me. I don't like this. <laughs> and you're still doing it. Uh, and nowadays, disrespect is cool. Yeah, I want me to uh, pop your... That's weak. I don't want that. <laughs> then that's extra baggage I got to take to work. I come home after a long day and I know you're probably going to scream at me because I didn't do X, Y, Z. Instead of, babe, you could just talk to me. Yeah. Just tell me. 
It ain't nothing. Just tell me. We ain't got to scream at each other, son. Now, some arguing is healthy. And people don't like to argue, but there's a respectful way to argue with me. See, okay. because when you argue, truth comes out. A lot of hard areas come out. But there's a way to tell me instead of, are oh, you this, you that. Tapping my dark places as a man. Keep talking. And that's it. Keep talking. Ah, that's, a, that's a good answer. So how you Men are now wising up to the fact that it's better to have a good woman than a good looking one. Okay, so we'll put it out here. I have nine children. By how many men? I oh, only have two baby daddies. I pretty much raised all of them. Uh, they go to work, so they have jobs. Even the ones that came out of the juvenile system go to work. They didn't play no part in helping to They're raise. in jail. And they were just I wouldn't have wrong four. enough for you to get some. <laughs> when I finally left them, <laughs> when I finally left them, that's when they went to jail. What are they in there for right now? Uh, the first one is in, he robbed two convenience stores. 12, I'm gonna find out, not two, 12. 12 convenience stores, so he got locked up for that. My second one, uh, now this one, that, that, that one is a long, long, long story with that one. Now that one is the one, he's been in and out of jail. In and out, since what I met him. What are you right now? You know what? I don't know because I'm not with him, so I don't know. So you said since you met him, he was in and out, but you still thought he was a good candidate to make a baby with? <laughs> Lord, it's the loyalty, I tell you. But you're right about because he was going to be. When he went to jail, I waited. She had seven kids with two convicts and then said, yeah, let's have an eighth. And then again said, let's have a ninth. How did she not learn her lesson? I mean, I don't think that these types of women are worried about learning lessons. Not this type of woman anyway. They're worried about learning how to better get themselves into more trouble with the wrong type of crowd. Two convicts. How does that? I could see if one happened and you had like a long term relationship but you came across two convicts, which means that you have some convict tendencies in and of yourself to allow that type of stuff. Two convicts, these guys, this guy robbed at 12. I can see if he was hard up. He was like, hey man, you know, I really gotta get it from my kids. Boom, robbed one store, mm, got in a bad spot again, robbed another one. But this guy hit up 12 of them. So he was doing that probably before you, during the time he was with you, and after he left you, which is why he landed himself where he is today, unfortunately for him and unfortunately for your kids. But here she is <laughs> sitting in an office building, key key and then laughing it up and ha ha. I guess at that point in time, you have to laugh to keep from crying because this is a terrible situation. Absolutely terrible. She have a people born. Oh. Adam and Eve made babies, and then their babies became adults and had babies, and so on. Mommy, how were people born? Hmm, we were monkeys, then we evolved to become like we are now. Daddy, what you said was not true. Hmm, no, your mom was talking about her side of the family. No, that one there was a violation. Personally, I wouldn't have that. She practically handed him that punchline on a silver platter. All right, take a picture with me before you leave. We just took all these Bro, come on, take a picture. Oh, hell no! Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on, what is that? What is that? 21st century women have perfected shape-shifting. You bring them in my house. You think I'm playing with you? Why did you bring them in my house, man? She want to keep playing on me, dog. Told her I was going to jump all her shit, man. I can't believe you on somebody in my house, man. She done brung in the crib while I was gone, y'all. All her, look at all this. All this going to get thrown out. This going to get thrown out. Brung in the crib, bro. I don't know why she had the nerve to bring a dude in my crib. I had cameras. I had cameras in my crib the whole time. Get out my court crying, man. Get out my court with all this crying. No. I'm finna pack all your stuff up. 
You and your child finna be homeless, bro. You and your child. Stop throwing my stuff out. Stop throwing, but you brung, you brung a dude in my crib, bro. You brung a dude in my crib. I don't want to hear no oh. crime. I don't want to hear, bro. I don't want to hear that, bro. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that, man. I don't want to hear that, bro. I don't want to hear that, bro. All y'all stuff finna get thrown out, bro. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear none of that. You ain't said that when I was watching that camera. You ain't said that when I. You didn't say that when I was watching that camera, though. The fact that he was taking care of the single mother and providing for a kid that's not even his, and she still cheated is crazy. Just remember, if you catch them cheating, she has done it before. Question is, how many times? Respect for him not putting up with it. And the, the worst part about it, I would say, is that your child has to see you get done this way. A lot of times, these modern women, these single mothers, point out that their kid is their top priority. If your kid was your top priority, then you wouldn't be messing around with other dudes. The top priority is to keep my kid in a safe and secure environment. But it looks like you were being irresponsible and now you're going to another environment, maybe back to your mom's house, dad, sister, whoever you can find. Maybe probably honestly and truly another man to which you were giving it up to and he can let you couch surf for a few weeks until you can find something more permanent. But at this point in time, this is terrible parenting. I would say just an irresponsibility and a lack of understanding comprehension on what you should and should not be doing. I feel like this is common. I can see if you're cheating by yourself because nobody's affected, but just the fact that you're cheating when somebody else depends on you and you screw that up, not only do you screw that up, but we continue to hear you as modern women say, you're going to come after my kid. You, you're going to have to prove yourself to my kid because my kid is my top priority. And then they go out there and to fumble the opportunity for their top priority is crazy work. But they'll tell you that you have no chance, no shot because their standards are so high. Yeah. Okay. Okay.